Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what spirit wants you to hear. Please remember this minute resonates for every Cancer. This also could resonate for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and this is timeless. So let's get straight into this Cancer and find out what spirit wants you to know. I got this new deck and it's so pretty, like all the cards are literally gold, but it's very noisy when I shuffle. Okay, um, what is going on here? Um, there is an energy of almost like fighting, bickering. I'm getting that. Then some type of competition or some type of argument going on here between you and somebody else. Um, there's somebody here who feels like your major competition, okay? Um, they feel like you're a threat, Cancer. They feel like... They kind of feel very defensive around you, um... It's almost like this person, you can't really joke around with them. You can't really, like, be yourself around them, Cancer, um, because they're very defensive. I just need one, four, three. So this person, again, they may even love you, right? But they're very defensive when it comes to... Just you two. It almost feels like they view you as competition. And it feels like this person... Again, you have to kind of walk on eggshells. You have to kind of be careful of what you say to them. Um, and with the loving card here as well, again, there's some type of love here. I just need two, two, two. Like, there's definitely a connection here. There's some type of love. This could be a friend of yours, right? But there's also this competitive energy. This also could be a relationship, right? Or, like, a love interest. Um, but it feels like whoever you're dealing with here, they have a very big ego. And you can... It's, like, very apparent. Okay, Cancer, it's, like, this person's ego is massive, and if you say the wrong thing, if you do the wrong thing, if you even look at them the wrong way, um, they may get offended, okay? And the thing is about this person is they view you as competition. They feel like you're a threat. And I am getting that you may be very disappointed to hear that. Like, I'm getting that that's something that would be very disappointing to you because you don't seem to embody the same energy. Yeah, I'm getting that um, you are getting a lot of opportunity right now, Cancer. Then definitely one opportunity in particular. And this is for some reason triggering this person. They feel like it's hurting their ego. And here's the thing about this person too. It's like... Um, they tend to, it's not like they don't have a lot of opportunity. They tend to have a lot of opportunity, right? They tend to be somebody that seems to be very abundant with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, here's the thing, though. They just, they have a hard time being happy for anyone else, can't I? I just need 444. And it feels like you're getting some type of opportunity, some type of new beginning 
and they seem to be disappointed or they're not happy. Um, yeah, I'm just getting that they're very discouraging, like they don't, they're not really happy for you. Then Scorpio energy here, then Pisces energy here. So I am getting that. Yeah, I'm just getting that this is like a very sad situation here. This person may have um, stopped talking to you. Maybe they blocked you, cancer. Um, and I'm getting that you literally have no closure here. But this reading is literally your closure. And their problem is that they're jealous. Okay, their problem is that they... This is somebody who is very selfish. And they can literally have it all. But they're going to be jealous about what you have. Right? And I feel like it's very subtle with the... With the High Priestess in reverse. It seems to be something that's like hidden very well. I'm sorry about the shuffling, this is crazy. It's almost like this person took a step back and you don't even want to believe that this person took a step back because, um, they're jealous of you, okay? And your success and you working on yourself and doing good really has hurt this person. I just think 707. This is somebody who, they cannot be happy for you. And I feel like this is hard for you to hear. I know, Cancer, you are very sensitive. Um, I know that this can be very hard for you to hear. But if this was on your recommended page and you're a Cancer or you have like Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus or any of your chart, this could resonate for you. And there is somebody here and they're giving you like mixed signals, okay? And you have no closure. And on an intuitive level, you feel like you may know the reason why, but you have no closure, you have no clarity, and he is your clarity. This person, they cannot handle, they're very jealous of you and they cannot handle your blessings. They're comparing themselves to you, but they feel like that they cannot compare. And it's literally triggering them, I just think, 818. We have Virgo energy here. Strong Pisces in this reading, you could be dealing with another uh, with a Pisces. Um, but we have Virgo, we also have Scorpio. Yeah, I'm just getting that this person ghosted you. They literally ghosted you with no closure. And for some of you, if this was a love interest, they ghosted you because they feel like you're too good for them. Like you are somebody that. You're very independent, like you don't need anybody. You seem to be somebody that you have accomplished a lot. You're very successful, very independent. No matter what you're doing, like you're really good at it. Okay, and very, you have the Empress here twice. The Empress is here twice, Cancer. So whoever I'm picking up on today, mm, this energy that you embody. Amazing, divine feminine, okay, very powerful, very almost just alluring, mesmerizing, but also very intimidating, okay. So, if this was like a love interest that randomly goes to you, it's because they're very intimidated here by you and they feel like that they cannot either provide for you or you're too good for them um but whoever this is it has a lot to do with their ego 
And with the Ace of Cups reverse, this definitely could be a love interest. Or just somebody, and I just need to know one. Somebody that you had a lot of love for and you had a very strong connection with, even if it wasn't a love interest. It could have been like a friend, family member, whatever. Ace of Cups reversed, it's like this person, they, you had a lot of love here for them, but their ego got in the way here. Oh, it's so sad because I'm getting that you really just cared for this person, you wanted the best for this person, but this person did not give you the same energy. Okay? But again, just remember that this person here ghosting you, like, living your life is literally a blessing for you, okay? Because they were jealous of you, they were bringing evil eye into your life, they were not happy, and they viewed you as competition. Okay, so they're also in this energy of them trying to sabotage you as well. So trust me when I say cancer, this is literally a blessing that this person has left your life. And you have seen their true colours. Okay? Because again, it's like you had a little love for this person, but this person, it feels like they don't even radiate love like they don't really radiate love or caring energy at all they tend to like radiate very cold and unforgiving energy also very selfish energy too okay so i am getting that you would give 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 to this person but they would just take 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 and not give back and again that's just how they are and your heart is too pure for this person like let's just be honest here all right so that's all I have for you, Cancer. If it resonated, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.